Halloween is almost here and it's time to start thinking about some special treats. How about some little mummies? Mummies that are a little bit healthful to eat too. This little treat takes a little bit of preparation ahead of time. First of all, you start with some butternut squash, about a pound and a half of butternut squash. Peel it, take out the seeds, chop it about maybe half inch cubes, put it on a baking sheet with some olive oil and a little bit of salt, and then put it in the oven 450 degrees for maybe 20 to 25 minutes until you can poke a fork and it's real tender. Once you take it out of the oven, let it cool just a little bit, and then put it in a bowl, mash it with a fork, or you can put it in your food processor like I did. I put it in the food processor with about a tablespoon of honey and a tablespoon of apple cider and process it or mash it a little bit. You want a little bit of chunk and you want it to stay nice and thick. You don't want it to be real runny. Now the other thing you need for these treats is puff pastry dough and that you get in the frozen section at the grocery store. You want to roll it out, a little bit of flour on your board to about a 13 inch square. And this recipe makes nine rounds, nine four inch rounds from a 13 inch square. So put these little rounds on a parchment lined baking sheet. Then the other square of dough, do the same thing, roll it out into a 13 inch square and then use a pizza cutter or a sharp knife and just cut little strips. They don't have to be all exactly the same size, but just make thin strips with your pizza cutter and then we're ready to start assembling these little mummies. So first of all, I've beat, beaten one egg with a teaspoon of water to make a little egg wash, and I'm just going to put that around the edge of my round of puff pastry dough. Then I'm going to take some of my butternut squash that I've mashed. On top of my butternut squash, I'm gonna sprinkle just a little bit of some goat's cheese, just a little bit of crumbles right on top. We need some eyes for our mummy, so olive slices work really well. Let's see if we can get a couple of eyes on here. There we go. And then we'll put the strips egg wash side down to help it stick to the dough on the bottom. Now I've got my oven preheated to 400 degrees, and these will go into the oven and bake for about 25 minutes. And when they come out, they look like mummies. They're so cute. And they're a great treat for this Halloween season. I'm Sue Doden sharing Good Food for Good Life 365.